And toast isn't just for breakfast anymore. I think I'll wear this throughout the rest of the show. And it's not just for <laughs> breakfast anymore. Coming up, we learn how to turn toasted bread into delicious appetizers and snacks. And then later, today's cute video, Pandas at Play. Well, there is a new toast of to the town, and it's not the one that you eat for breakfast. Our next guest is here to serve up a fresh take on the crusty piece of bread. It is always a pleasure to welcome back Kowalski's Markets Culinary Director Rachel Perrin to our kitchen. Great to see you. Good to see you again. What's the deal with toast? People are pretty excited about toast. I don't know how what side of the fence you sit on, but there's some pretty excited people about uh, toast. And in town these days. I must say, I think of it as the, uh, the breakfast food, but increasingly I see it with appetizers. That's right. And there's some interesting toppings that go with interesting it. Interesting toppings, but really, I think the best part of the toast is the bread still. I mean, and it's a great base for a savory appetizer. Anything you can put on a cracker, crostini, flatbread, you can put on a piece of toast. And with all the great varieties of artisan bread and the flavors available, you really can't miss. Well, Things you like, cleaned out the bakery at Kowalski's. I can see here today. There's still Look there, at all I these. Promise. But rosemary, olive oil, or roasted garlic, there's some great fruit studded and nut studded breads this time of year. But pick your favorite toast and or your favorite bread and let's make some toast with it. Mm. So as far as making toast, if you're going to make it for a party, uh, you don't want to appetizers for a crowd, right. you know, skip the two slice or the, or the four slice toast. Just do it in your oven on a sheet pan. 325, depending on how thick you cut it, maybe four to ten minutes. And it'll be perfect when it's crusty and golden on the edges, but it still has some chew and some pliability. You're doing it with a broiler? Just on a 325 degree. 325. Oven. It's kind of a oh. low, lower heat. All you right. want it to stand up to the toppings, but still not break your teeth when you're And you're, you're putting into nothing it. on this. Don't until, have to put anything on later. it. Just like you would do it in your regular toaster at home. Right. Now we're gonna put some fun stuff on yep. it. And I think cheese is a great place to start. But with the cheese you're going to want to go with something soft or spreadable or, or I like to say smushable. Something that you can actually smush down onto the actual toast. So this time of year, triple creams, breeze, camemberts are really fun. They're buttery um, and, and nutty and kind of a mild flavor. But you can also use cheeses that have more of an interesting flavor profile. A very soft, creamy blue or gorgonzola. Or we sell spreadable, all natural, like cheddars like this from Fayette Creamery. When you Those bring out some great. of these pre, uh, like the brie, uh, how much time pulling it out of the fridge? Sometimes I know I bring it out it looks like it's, I would it's, give it a, about an hour to get it to make nice it good and, and soft spreadable. so that right. it'll actually spread it depends on the cheese some of them warm up or are, are softer naturally than others but you want it to be warm enough where you can spread it easily so my, my next stop is something that's going to add a little bit of sweet and tart and maybe a little bit of a kick to it so I like savory jams for that reason and I brought a few of my favorites from Lucille's kitchen garden they've got green pepper red pepper raspberry but there's also a really fun one that we have I'm using here that's from Stonewall kitchen which I know is a brand that you like yeah. Maple bacon onion is another great flavor for this season. So that's um, the next stop is a savory jam of some. That's so sort. beautiful. Would you go and end uh, with this beautiful tray that you Absolutely. put together? And this gives people ideas of what you can do. So top it with something fresh, um, some greens or some fresh herbs, or you can also top it with something crunchy if you like, maybe roasted and salted pistachios or some honey toasted pecans, something to give a little extra texture in your final appetizer. This is so wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. I can't wait to bite into this. She's a smart guest. Shut the host up with something delicious. Uh, you can find more of these ideas and recipe information at carolevin.com. Just look under the news at 4. We're going to be right back.